matured in your professional career, a lot of you have encountered the favorite question of all times during an interview. What would you do if you knew that today is the last day of your life? This, this is clearly the dumbest question of all times. Because one, I think that the interviewer deep down is just wishing that your response will be, you know what, boss, if this is the last day on earth, then I will finish the assignment that you gave me. No. If this was the last day on earth, I will go back to my parents, apologize for all the shit that I've told them all through my life. I'll go back to my loved ones, tell them how much I love them. And I will just fondly try and remember all the nice things that have happened to me in my life. That's what I'm going to do if this is my last day. But I've always asked myself this question. What if we turn this question around by 180 degrees and asked a very different question instead? And that is, what would you do if you knew that you are never going to die? How would you live your life if you knew that you're never, ever going to die? And this is not a hypothetical question. For those who are aged around 2025 watching this, it's quite likely that in your lifetime, medical advancement would have gone through such breakthrough speed that you will never die. You'll never die of a natural cause. You may die because of an accident or something, but you're never going to die naturally. And that begs the question, are we preparing ourselves for a lifetime of 100, 150 years through what is it that we know today and how we conduct ourselves? Like, are our schools prepared to teach our kids how to live life if they were to live 100, 150 years? Because schools were designed in an era where information was scarce and what you knew set you apart. Today, information is not scarce. You can get it at the click of a button. Tomorrow, it might be injected into you or installed into you. And knowing something will never set you apart. How you distill that information, how you make sense of it, is what is more important. And I don't think schools are teaching us to get ready for that. So ask yourself this question. How would you start to change your life starting today if you knew that you were going to live forever? And that's a very hard question to answer. I've asked myself this question a lot. And after a lot of thought, I just come down to the fact that if I am obsessed and habituated into seeking the truth, I think that's far more important than anything else. Because our attitude towards money, towards religion, towards love, towards other humans, towards machines, all of that is going to change. But what will possibly set us apart is the ability for us to ask the question, why? Why at all points of time? And I see that a lot of us today are not asking this question. We're just so happy living on the surface getting the bare minimum information that is required for us to come across as intelligent in a conversation or in a group, to just pass through life, never stop and ponder why. Why do I behave this way when it comes to religion? Why do I behave this way when it comes to money? Why do I feel jealousy? Why do I feel anger? Why do I feel hatred? Why do I love doing this and not love doing this? Why do I while away my time watching Game of Thrones and yet not devote myself into actual work? Or why do I do the opposite? Whatever the question is, why, why, why? Because if we can get ourselves habituated into asking these questions for almost everything that happens to us, we may, we may be on a path where we can live for 100, 150 years in a fulfilling manner than just drift away and not, not have any meaningful existence. So ask yourself this question today. How would you change how you've lived your life so far if you knew that you were going to live for another 100 years? Everything about you, your relationships, your work, your own personality, your views, observations about the world, your attitude towards different people, different subjects. And then instill a little bit of realism by saying that most likely is going to happen. This scenario will most likely unfold itself. And if you were to, should you decide that this might happen, if you were to actually make that change that you ought to make if you were to live 100 years, then that might be the best thing you'll do today. This is Varika Wednesday, Season 2, Episode 14. I'll see you all next week.